in talking to my girlfriends, I realized that we are praising men for doing the bare minimum. <laughs> it's like, we'll go on a date. I'm guilty of this too. I'd uh -huh. be like, oh, guys, he was just so sweet. He opened the car door for me. Oh, guys, he was so sweet. He planned the date. Like, duh. Why wouldn't he open the door for you or plan the date? Like, why are we praising men for literally doing the basic things that they should be doing? Wait a minute. Um, I'm going to stop here because she... It's not that men are doing the bare minimum. We've always done... I mean, it's not even the bare minimum, in my opinion, but that's... I'm just going to use her words here. It's not that men are doing the bare minimum. It's that women's level of entitlement have gone through the roof, son. Through the roof. It's not enough that you take her out, plan the date, open the car door, pay for the meal, you know, walk her to the front door. All of this other nonsense that the beta Brad generally does and the alpha chad does not right uh <laughs> it's it's insane because this was just par for the course back in the day but now it's no longer enough it's the bare minimum fellas it's a bare minimum uh however this is why i tell you guys you know for dgs modern women they give a complete pass to the alpha chads and the pookies and the tyrones of the world who don't do any of this work who don't put in any effort they just come over after midnight after the club lets out bang them and leave okay bang them wash their wash their penises in their on their in their sinks and then leave they let that guy get away with absolute murder whatever he wants to but the beta brad who is actually trying who is actually trying to put in effort no 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 not good enough, Brad. You you didn't take me to a four star restaurant, okay? Oh, also you didn't ask what I wanted to eat. You know, you just ordered the food, the appetizers. Oh, your your car wasn't fully cleaned. Oh, it didn't have enough gas in it. I mean, she oh, your tires are balding. She'll constantly like look for something to pick on you about, right? When you try to do things. This is why I say like the when it comes to the D the DGs and modern women, the the less effort you put in the more they will chase you, okay? And how do you know that they're chasing you and they're attracted to you? When it comes to modern damaged women, the way you know that they're attracted to you is they get on their social media and they complain about you. They complain about the lack of effort you put in. They complain about the fact that you're, not, you're emotionally unavailable, the fact that you're liking other women's photos on Instagram, the fact that uh, you'll disappear for days at a time. That's how you know she's into you. The way you get her to do that is by putting in zero effort. <laughs> Believe me, I've always said, guys, on this channel, what women tell you they want versus what women respond to will always be two different things, right? Every woman on the world, every woman in your life will tell you how she wants a good guy, wants a guy to stop doing the bare minimum, wants a guy to treat her right, wants to be a nice guy. Uh, however, has she ever dated that type of dude? No. Who does she date? She dates the assholes of the world, the dicks of the world, the jerks of the world who piss all over her, who could care less, you know, if she's if she exists or not. She dates those guys, or she has sex with those guys, right? Not the guys she's telling you that she, oh, this beta fantasy that these women conjure up in their heads, like, oh, the perfect beta, he, pay, he gives me money, he pays my rent, he, he gives me flowers every day, calls and texts at night before he goes to sleep, and again in the morning, oh, that guy, my prince, my prince. Yeah, right. Look how she treats that guy versus how she treats Alpha Chad, who puts in zero effort. I don't understand. And like, why men are you not meeting the minimum to where now women are expecting less than the basics? Like, we need to change this because this is just not okay. Like, boys, do better. Girls, expect more. Because See? I don't want my future daughter's bare minimum to be, mom, he was just so sweet. He offered to meet me at the restaurant. Um, no, sweetie, drop it. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, just this, yeah, I see this commonly with a lot of uh, kids today too. Just beyond outside of dating, is like a lot of kids have this like entitlement mentality. Uh, so yeah, they're just they're they just need to shut up. They have no life experience yet. They've never paid a bill in their life. They've never. <sighs> They've never done anything. They've never achieved anything yet, yet. They're so confident in themselves. 
Uh, I see this problem with a lot of kids today, and she's still young. And uh, fortunately, my my girlfriend isn't like that. She's probably about her age, but she's definitely not entitled like she is, right? And my girlfriend's dating a self-made multimillionaire, so she doesn't expect things from me like, oh, buy me this, oh, match the bare minimum. No, I. she doesn't ask me for anything. She's just, she's just like chill like that. But she grew up with uh, both a mom and dad, which unlike her, probably just grew up with a single mom. Have you seen the Vice article about how lack of participation in housework can actually decrease a woman's sex drive towards their partner? I hadn't, but I did go and look it up. Dude, as if this chick is doing housework. Does this chick look like the type of doing housework? You're doing housework and eating Cinnabon on the side? And it's actually very interesting. So essentially the article talks about how when women are expected to do all household chores and all domestic work, that over time they lose attraction and they lose any type of sex drive towards their partner. And while that's interesting in and of itself, the reasoning behind it is even more so for me. So yeah. while yes, one of the reasons cited was that women were just more tired, and when you're that little tired, you just want to go to sleep, not engage in those types of activities. An equal reason, or even a larger reason for that, is because over time, as the woman does all of these household chores specifically for their partner, they start to see their partner like as a child. Kind of like how uh, men see women as a child when they start ranting and complaining on TikTok like this, even though they're a grown adult. So, uh, yeah, uh, and we can't have a conversation with you because all you're doing is yelling and screaming in to your camera here. So uh, she is responding to how somebody commented on her uh, that she's responding to said that... Uh, Something about, uh, oh, Vice article. Oh, she's responding to somebody who read a Vice article. Are you serious? Vice is like the most leftist of leftist feminists of most feminist sites you could possibly get your news from. That's like somebody going to CNN and then, you know, trying to say that they have some credible evidence because they saw it on CNN, man. Uh, no. <laughs> These are the last people you should be listening to. Um, it's saying that uh, the reason for divorce and women's lack of sex drive is because they have to clean. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's just, be, I, I think it's the la uh, the the reason for women's la uh, divorce and lack of sex drive really is because they're miserable with themselves, right? A lot of these modern women are just, they hate themselves. There's a lot of self-projected, uh, self-anger, self-hatred, self-loathing. And they project that onto others in the world, whether it's through, you know, using their TikTok or their social media, as this woman is. There's just a lot of anger. You see it in these women's eyes. Why are you like so? What are you so angry about? Right? <laughs> it's like, dude, enjoy life. You're only going to be here for a short time. Check out. Because they've been treating them like a child, and the man has been expected to be treated as a child for so long. Because he expects his woman to clean while he's at work, working to provide for the family. To provide income, to provide safety, to provide shelter, to provide transportation. Oh yeah. So she basically wants him to do everything while she sits at home and does nothing. And the woman naturally loses all sexual interest because their partner is acting like a child. And oftentimes it leads to divorce. No, the reason why, the only reason why, I will tell you this as a professional pickup artist guys, the only reason why your woman is going to lose any sexual interest in you is because you're being too giving, too nice, too generous, too compromising. That's why, right? You have to revert back to almost kind of like your caveman traits, and you just have to start being harder. Stop being so soft, right? That This is always a problem in every relationship. And then when you feel like you're losing your woman, even in the slightest, what do you guys do? You double down on that. You start to be nice to her, right? You start like... You know, you start giving her more. You start trying to open up to her more. You start crying more. And then she just sees what a weak, soft-ass little bitch you are and goes, oh, I don't want to be with him. Then she loses her sex drive, right? It's not because you're you're being a dick or jerk or an a-hole to her. I've never seen any of these women leave the guy for that, right? As long as he's not being, like, physically abusive or anything like that. Um, if he's just standing his ground like a man and he refuses to budge and he's like, hey, this is who I am. This is who you married. That chick ain't going nowhere. Right? And that is yeah, literally what I've done with every chick since the like my ex from 2006, which was the last chick to dump me. And even that relationship back then, um, the reason it went sour was because I was being too giving, too nice, too generous. And then when I felt myself losing her, I doubled down on that. And then I lost her and she ended up despising me for it. I mean, as these women will. 
right? They will despise you for that because they see that they see they really do like most women interpret interpret your kindness for weakness. Okay, and I'm not saying to go out and be a, a you know complete a hole to her or anything like that. I'm just saying stand your ground. This is who you are. This is who you are. I mean, with every, I haven't been dumb since 2006, by the way, because I know I, I learned my lesson. I'm like, I am not going to give in or change who I am when this is who you got with, right? And no matter how many times a girl complains, and she will complain, right? She will test you. She will complain, right? But every single girl I've dated since then ha has had a problem with, the, with me being a pickup artist, for example. Oh, you're taking guys on a what? On a boot camp to a club? You're going to pick up girls? I'm like, hey, if we're boyfriend, girlfriend, don't worry. I, I'm going to help my students get the girls. I'm not going to take any of these girls home. I'm not going to do anything outside of working normal cold approach on them, but I'll, I'll cut the interaction, you know, before anything gets really physical, right? Which I, I, I do, which I honor, right? I mean, my, my current girl right now, you know, uh, she complained about it in the beginning, but I'm like, hey, this is who I am. This is who you got with, you know, and I'm not changing. I, I treat you good. I have a business to run. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to interfere with that. And they all respect me for that, right? They all respect me for it, and then they become more attracted to me because I do stand my ground. I'm not intentionally trying to hurt them. I'm just saying, this is who I am. This is who you got with. You have to accept me just as I accept you, right? Just as I accept you. And if you don't like it, there's a door. You can always leave. Do they ever leave? No. <laughs> right? So uh, don't buy into this malarkey, guys. Stand your ground, especially if you're in a marriage, if you're in a relationship, you feel like you're losing your girl right now. First thing you need to do is get into Seven Muster Mastery below. Click that link below. Quick plug. Uh, literally, it will help you. I'm not just joking, but it will help you. Uh, secondly, um, stop being such a little soft ass beta bitch around your chick. All right. And again, I'm not talking about getting violent or physical or smacking her around or becoming verbally abusive or anything like that. Just stand your ground. Right? Stop compromising with her. Stop being, you know, so weak. Stop being so cowardly. Right? Be proud of who you are in that relationship. Because obviously she is. Like, if she's anything like this chick, oh, I'm loud and proud. Right? So be proud of who you are as well. As always, drop your comments below, gentlemen. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to add in the comments below. Feel free to do that, and I will see you in my comments below. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well. Also, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube, and especially whenever I live stream. A lot of you guys complain like, oh, I missed the live stream. Why didn't you tell me? It's like, dude, you gotta hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified like that anytime I live stream, right? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And for you guys who want to support all of my incredible work I am sharing with you guys, my incredible coaching lessons I'm teaching you guys, all this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill, diamond pill content that I'm sharing with you guys. The best way to support me, best way to show you love me is to jump in my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest hottest and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students out there are cold approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making things happen every single week, no matter what is going on in the world, no matter you know what new presidential administration is taking over, no matter what new virus is taking over, doesn't matter. We are out there making things happen and living our lives to the absolute fullest and just meeting the best looking women on the planet. I want you to join us. I want you to become one of us. I want you to learn this stuff. And right now, the first month is only one buck, right? Still only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. And this is the absolute best way to support my work. Support my work. So all you need to do to get signed up is click that 
link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.